Today, I'm going to read something about food. You are what you eat and other mealtime hazards by Serge Block. I see the broccoli is chasing the dog. Uh, I mean, the dogs are the kids. You are what you eat and other mealtime hazard. Ooh. My mother always says, you are what you eat. So I am very careful about what I put on my plate. If my dog, Roger, can eat the same thing all the time, why not me? Use your noodle, my mother said. People need three square meals a day. Dad said that my, my, my goose would be cooked if I ate macaroni for every meal. Then he told me that I needed to start thinking outside the box. Before breakfast, my sister yelled, last one to the table is a rotten egg. Dad sounds proud when he says that she eats like a horse. My mother says it drives her bananas to see me eat like a bird. But she also says she's glad I'm not a couch potato like my dad. My best friend Oliver called to invite me over to his house. Don't be late, he said. The early bird gets the warm. My sister said she wouldn't eat at Oliver's house for all the tea in China. Because his mother is a real house nut. Dad told me to take my sister with a grain of salt. Then he said that I should see the glass as half full and just enjoy myself. You will be as cool as a cucumber, he assured me. When my mother dropped me off in front of Oliver's house, she told me not to be nervous and said that I was the apple of her eye. One bad apple spoils the whole barrel. My sister murdered from the back seat of the car. Oliver opened the front door before I could even knock. He said he could already hear my stomach growling. I said hello to Oliver's mother and warned her that I was not very hungry. She just smiled and said she hoped she could make me eat my words. She asked Oliver to be a good egg and set the table. Then she reminded him not to eat like a pig, especially since he had a guest.
Oliver grinned at me. We are having something that will really stick to your ribs, tofu dogs. Are you all right, dear? Oliver's mother asked me. You look a little green around the gills. I didn't want to be rude, so I bravely held my plate. I bravely held out my plate. I knew you were a tough cookie," said Oliver's mother. Oliver told me I was as nutty as a fruit cake, if I didn't love his mother's cooking. So I closed my eyes and took a big bite. It was delicious. Told you so," said Oliver. We both asked for seconds. Oliver's mother smiled and said, "We were like two peas in the pod." When Dad came to pick me up, he said, "I looked like the cat that sw swallowed the canary." My sister asked if I had chicken out, and I surprised her by saying I had eaten even more than Oliver. My mother said she was as pleased as punch when I tasted a little bit of everything she cooked that night. Why not? Variety is the spice of life. When it's time to eat, be a tough cookie and try something new. Thank you for reading.